to Redline Revs and in this episode what I'm going to be doing is installing an aftermarket stereo system in my Sayat Leon Cooper R, that's a Mark 1 Sayat Leon. It's going to be a very similar procedure for uh, especially the VW Golfs, Audis, um, Skodas but also many other cars. Now my subscribers would know that uh, I recently had somebody rob my stereo out of the car overnight on my driveway. There's a video uh, about that. It's been a couple of weeks actually, I haven't sort sorted this out, so I, I need to. I don't really use the car very much anymore. Um, I take the train to work, so it's kind of a weekend toy for me. But Mrs. Redland Revs does use the car quite frequently. It's her daily driver, and she used to enjoy listening to Classic FM, so uh, let's get this sorted out. Okay, so um, I've got a replacement unit here. This is a Pioneer USB M radio unit, so there's no CD in here. I decided, you know, not to bother with CD. Okay, so you have one of these cages that come with your unit. Uh, and, oh, Reem's driving the car at the moment. Uh, so you've got one of these, uh, sorry, these cages that come with the unit. Um, and that should slot into the cage you've already got in the car. I've tried and mine doesn't really line up very nicely. So I just want to remove that and just slot this in. Normally there should be two, one in there and one on that as well um, but it's not working out for me so I'm just gonna take this out so what I did is uh, if you look very carefully over here um, these things were kind of bent down into uh, the plastic trim around there and I just used a screwdriver to kind of loosen them all up and then it's just a question of it should just pull out neatly um, so I'm just gonna do away with that one uh, and this plastic trim will also come out like this um, there we go I'm just going to slide this cage into my plastic trim here and uh, just got to somehow get it through that. Uh, it's just got these teeth and metal parts on it which I'm just getting it around those, there we go. There. Okay, so now that that's in Gonna put that through here. Whoa! What are we doing, Rahima? Finally, put fix on the radio. Okay. Now, um, on the wiring harness, you'll have um, one which has lots of uh, sort of wires and one which has fewer. Just match that up to what you've got in the car there. Um, I, I should also point out if you've got like a kind of CD player that came with the car, uh, like I had a 6 CD changer, then there's another one of these harnesses in there for that, but we don't need to plug that in, I in fact can't find it right now, so just, just believe me that there's another one there, which we don't need. Uh, so, the brown one is going in here, and the black one, that matches up to the wires in there, so I'm just going to plug that in, and uh, we should have power, yes we do. Uh, now, your radio antenna is this one, so that slots in there. Uh, my subwoofer is no longer in the car because now we've got a push chair in the boot instead, but we'll just wire it up in case um, in case Raheem grows out of using the push chair. Okay, so what I did is I just pushed the trim as far back as it goes, uh, plastic trim, and also the cage as well, just bending and flexing it wherever I needed to to get it in there. And now, should be able to slot this in as well. Right, so uh, there we go, that's in there now. We've now got radio back, so we can have our classic FM, Sunrise Radio, whatever it is. I've got this little USB thing here, so I can put that in, and then we've got AUX, and that's pretty much all I'm gonna need. So uh, that's another video there for you. Uh, so Redline Revs. Thank you for watching once again. Please make sure you comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, there's a lot more coming up.